Hello everyone, I'm Eric. Welcome to Future Looks. We're going to take a look at the Asus P8 Z68V Pro motherboard. This has the new Z68 chipset, which is essentially a Cougar Point uh, with the access to the integrated graphics on Sandy Bridge processor, also called Lucid Logic's Virtue, and access to the new feature, Intel Smart Response Technology, where you ca use an SSD for caching. So we're going to do an unbox here and show you what we got. All right, in our box, besides the uh, user manual, of course you got your uh, disk here with your drivers and whatnot on it. You also have uh, four SATA cables. A couple of them are white tipped with 90 degree. Uh, actually, all four are, so that gives you a little connectivity uh, bonus here so that your cabling doesn't have to come straight off. You can actually 90 degree off with these. You also got a PCI bracket here with extra USB 3.0 and it has a blue proprietary adapter that plugs in on the board right here so you can't get it wrong it only one way plugs in one way of course your SLI crossfire bridge because this board does support both of those and your front panel headers USB header a little easy connectivity here you don't have to guess what you're doing basically use the uh, cases uh, marked front panel wiring and plug them into each slot as it's indicated and then it plugs in only one way on your front panel header so it'll save you some time and of course a padded shielded uh, IO shield here uh, on the back of your goes on the back of your case so this is the P8 Z68-V Pro rather striking motherboard just like the P67 series looks uh, almost identical in all reality it's just uh, some slight component changes but the same blue Striking blue heat sinks, uh, same here on the sap, on the uh, chipset itself on the bottom. Uh, this board here supports DDR3 up to 2200 megahertz. That means you got some overclocking off of this board. And uh, in our testing, we've seen uh, frequencies pushing 4.8 and 4.9. Uh, very impressive for a $220 price point board. And that's your back here. You can see they're using. Uh, plates now to help hold on some of these heat sinks uh, which is a good move so since a lot of these can might have the chance to rock under here they have their uh, chokes uh, and basically this board uses has a couple other features built in the digi VRM which are great uh, two great features basically you have dual processors that help control the manage the voltage going to and from the processor uh, what you get out of that is faster uh, sensing and response. Of course, uh, better uh, component cooling. Uh, that's because uh, the new dual uh, driver MOSFETs are underneath here. So they basically alternate and don't have to heat up uh, doing the job full time. And of course, that means twice the power uh, for higher load extremes, and that means better transient response. So you'll keep that higher overclock a lot easier. Also built onto this is TPU. That's an onboard uh, little switch up here. That gives you a little more uh, overclocking support. Uh, onboard switching. Uh, also, you have auto tuning. That's built into Turbo V. Uh, also, the BIOS itself has an auto tune feature. Uh, that gives you a little extra, uh, saves you some time. It'll figure out the best overclock. You don't have to worry about it. Some some folks would rather, so they have Turbo V itself the new software which you can add to the AI Suite 2 uh, software. Again, these two, this board does support Virtue, Lucilogic Virtue. That's why you have your two video outs here, a DVI and of course a uh, VGA, standard VGA, but you also have an HDMI port here on the bottom since some users have uh, quite a few monitors that have that. So you're able to access Sandy Bridge's integrated graphics. And of course, GPU boost. That means you can overclock, also overclock that IGP. And in this case, it actually does uh, increase a little bit of performance, especially if you just want to use the integrated for some desktop use, maybe admin box and a little extra uh, transcoding or encoding power. That's uh, which Sandy Bridge is very good at, especially if you're using something like Media Espresso 6. It, uh, the difference is. Uh, anywhere from a minute and a half to sh uh, shaving off something like a minute and 15 seconds. So it's really good performance for that. 
We also got uh, some of the layout features here. You got three PCI Express slots. Of course, these are your 8x, 8x when you're running SLI, Crossfire. Uh, also have uh, uh, one here at the bottom for you want to do a little, you know, uh, extra PCI Gen 4 kind of performance out of it. Uh, more connectivity, more expansion. This board also has three different uh, chips controlling uh, con controllers for your SATA. You got your standard uh, SATA 2, your SATA 60 gigabit per second with uh, two different uh, chips. The uh, Marvell is always one that everybody knows about, and that's for 6 gigabit per second. So that's a little extra performance, especially for those that might want to be might want to run a little RAID on there. Uh, otherwise. A couple audio features of this board. It has uh, uses a DTS or Asus Crystal Sound. You get uh, you don't get that on the uh, standard uh, version of the Z68 uh, V, but you do on the Pro and on the Deluxe. You get the uh, better audio. It cleans things up if you're into games and that kind of thing. One thing to note about this board is actually quite kind of nice. All the extra ports are all along the outside here. Your connection, your USB 2.0, your 3.0. All your fan headers here at the top. Uh, your, mem your EPU and MemoK uh, are up here as well. If you're not sure what MemoK is, if you happen to install some memory that isn't quite uh, working properly with the system, you can you just simply press that button, and the system is going to uh, auto configure itself so that it can get up and running. Uh, in the worst case scenario, it doesn't get up and running. Chances are there's something wrong with your your DDR3, which is always a headache. Uh, for some, but MEM OK will uh, help save you some time for that. Now the EPU feature, if you don't overclock and you like, uh, your, uh, like your efficiency so you don't suck so much wattage from the wall, uh, EPU does that for you with a flick of the switch. Uh, runs more efficient. Uh, doesn't, it saves you quite a bit of power, especially if you're not using your system all the time. And overall, you can see in the back here your I.O. Uh, you'll notice it has a little blue here. That's your Bluetooth Go. If you're uh, uh, somebody that needs a little extra security, you can actually use it for that reason there. There's also, uh, for features like file sharing, uh, you want to share from one of your smartphone devices or something that has Bluetooth. Uh, of course, remote access and uh, media. Uh, if you want to do a little music sharing or media player through that, that's always a, another cool feature. Otherwise, it's USB 3.0, your standard analog, uh, your optical uh, out here and USB 2.0 for all those who need it. So that's our Asus PAZ68-V Pro motherboard. Uh, again, supports uh, Sandy Bridge processors. Uh, you have access to you through vir Virtue here for your Sandy Bridge integrated graphics. Uh, supports SSD caching. Just pick up uh, your choice of SSD from whatever, from 20 gig up to 64 max, like our Kingston here. And you can get uh, some added, added extra performance out of uh, this, especially if you're a professional user. Uh, price for this board is around $209.99, so it's come down a bit from our original stated $220 uh, or so. So, again, very good price for the performance, good overclocking, uh, attractive board. So you'll be able to see this one in our roundup. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.